You know, most of the time, people are unaware of just what goes into the drug war. So let's take a gander. Total federal, state, and local spending on the drug war per year minimum is about $50 billion. That's $136 million per day. That's $5 million an hour. That's $95,000 a minute. That's $1,500 a second. To give you all an idea of how much that is, I'm going to time a few minutes while we go do something else. That something else is a little tutorial. I think you all need a lesson in why the drug trade is so effective. So I present... The Drug War in a Nutshell. Here's how it works. Drug mules, many of them women, are recruited in places like Colombia. Then, they swallow 60 to 100 latex-wrapped drug pellets, usually cocaine, and sent on an airplane to go into the U.S. Often, there are many mules on one plane to increase the chances of at least one or two getting through. In fact, occasionally, customs officials will get anonymous tips that there is a mule on the plane, sacrificing one so that the rest can get through. Sometimes, the mules only swallow the drugs, but sometimes there are women called triple packers, where they swallow them, shove them up their butt, and also insert them in their... Ah! Mm, well, you get the idea. And these mules are not bad people most of the time. Often they are pulled in by the allure of making money like they'd never seen before. In Colombia, being paid to be a drug mule can net you a lot of money. If it's $5,000 American, as of August 2005, that's 11.5 million Colombian pesos. That's enough to buy a house. The drug lords are always changing their tactics for how to best get people through. If airport security violated every single privacy consideration and x-rayed every person to come through there, then the drug lords would get a handle on that and find other ways. And for this intricate cat and mouse game, what do they have to show for it? <clears throat> According to government survey data, 108.25 million Americans aged 12 or over, 46% of the U.S. population, have used an illicit drug at least once in their lifetimes. 35.1 million Americans aged 12 or over, 14.9% of the U.S. population, had used an illicit drug during the previous year. From 1982 to 2003, 26,819,900 people were arrested on drug-related charges. Of those, 20.3 million were arrested for simple possession. These numbers are increasing exponentially, especially for marijuana. Police arrested an estimated 755,187 persons for marijuana violations in 2003, according to the Federal Bureau of Investigation's annual Uniform Crime Report. The total is the highest ever recorded by the FBI, and comprised 45% of all drug arrests in the United States. At current rates, a marijuana smoker is arrested every 42 seconds of the year. Of those charged with marijuana violations, 88%, some 662,000 Americans, were charged with possession only. The remaining 92,301 individuals were charged with sale manufacture, a category that includes all cultivation offenses, even those where the marijuana was being grown for personal or medical use. In past years, approximately 30% of those arrested were aged 19 or younger. In 2001, drug law violators comprised 20.4% of all adults serving time in state prisons, 246,100 and constituted 55% of all federal inmates, 78,501. The cost to house these offenders? According to the ONDCP, federal spending to incarcerate drug offenders totals nearly $3 billion a year. The UN estimates that illegal drugs are 8% of all international trade. To compare, motor vehicles are a mere 5.3%. Obviously, with hundreds of billions of dollars a year spent worldwide on combating the drug war, people are still finding ways to get what they want. Hello. And where do you think a lot of this money nope. is going? Murderous drug cartels, terrorist organizations, and very bad people. One would think that if we were to take the drug trade out of the hands of the black market, out of the hands of terrorists, out of the hands of criminals, and made them government-regulated commodities, which is certainly better than government-attack commodities, countless billions of terrorist dollars would dry up. And yep. for once, our laws would reflect reality, not our perfect vision of what we want the world to be. Okay, that was four minutes. In that time, $380,000 was spent on the war on drugs. Is the government making good use of that money? Well, you tell me.